Is the buttered toast method a good thermal paste pattern or the pea size method? In fact, both of these methods are okay. The difference between these two is that the pea size method is simpler, but you need to estimate the right amount of thermal paste applied to the processor. In contrast, the buttered toast method requires a bit more effort, but you can control the amount of thermal paste and ensure the layer is thin and even. The pea size method only requires a moderate amount of thermal paste applied to the middle of the processor, and the pressure from the heatsink will spread out the thermal paste. So, what is a moderate amount? It depends on the size of the processor. When using the pea size method to apply thermal paste, you should consider the size of your processor to figure out the right amount of paste. The buttered toast method requires users to spread the paste with a spreader or spatula. If the paste is too little to cover the entire processor, you add more. If it is too much, you can remove the excess paste with the help of a spatula. Remember, the key is to apply a thin and even layer. We have tested these two methods to understand which method is the best. When the pea size method is applied, having too much or too little thermal paste on the processor will negatively impact heat transferability. The best outcome can only be achieved if the right amount of paste is used. As for the buttered toast method, the best outcome can be achieved without estimation. So what is your choice between these two application methods?